Welcome! This training video covers two-point line segments and two-point rectangles. Some measurements consist of a series of many disconnected line segments of two points each. These can be measured using any length measurement, but eTakeoff supports a special mode that makes it easier. To use this mode, start a new length measurement, then press the two-point line button or use the shortcut key 2. When you press this button, it will look like it is on to show that you are in two-point line takeoff mode. As you add points, disconnected line segments are created automatically. Point 1 and 2 form the first segment, points 3 and 4 the second segment, points 5 and 6 form the third segment, and so on. When you finish your measurement with the S key or Enter key, or if you start another measurement, the button will automatically toggle off. If you escape from the measurement, the button will not toggle off. You will need to do that manually by clicking the button. Two-point rectangle takeoff mode is similar to two-point line takeoff mode, but it's used for measurements that consist of a series of rectangles. Each rectangle is identified by clicking on two opposite corners. To use this mode, start a new area measurement, then press this button or use the shortcut key 4. When you press this button, it will look like it is on, to show that you are in two-point rectangle takeoff mode. As you add points, disconnected rectangles are created automatically. Points 1 and 2 are used to form the first rectangle, 3 and 4 to form the second rectangle, and points 5 and 6 to form the third rectangle, and so on. The first point you click becomes the first point of the rectangle. The second point you click becomes the third point of the rectangle. The second and fourth points are generated automatically. If the second point is to the right of the first point, the points are arranged in a clockwise direction and the rectangle area is positive. If the second point is to the left of the first point, the points are arranged in a counterclockwise direction and the rectangle's area will be negative. Negative areas can be used for cutouts such as windows in a wall. Please see the cutout training video to learn more. When you finish your measurement with the S key or Enter key, or if you start another measurement, the button will automatically toggle off. If you escape from the measurement, the button will not toggle off. You will need to do that manually by clicking the button. Thank you. That is the end of this training video.